Nikon, who is acquiring Red Digital Cinema. Now, if you did not know, this is kind of a really big deal. Red is kind of known for being like the cheaper version of an Ari Alexa. And I mean, that's not that much cheaper if you buy like the top, top end, but it is still cheaper. A lot of big YouTubers use this camera as their daily driver, their main camera. It is as high end as you can get and still get pretty good bang for the buck. Arguably, there's still better cameras, but Red is pretty dang up there. So Nikon has announced that they will be acquiring them. And this comes shortly after a lawsuit that happened that ended in April of 2023. Red had actually sued Nikon for allegedly infringing on patents it held for video compression technology. Nikon, in response, squared off to fight the allegations before the case was ultimately dismissed. So there's got to be a connection between these events or it's very interesting. Nikon has kind of fallen off when it's come to photo slash video cameras. You know, you see people buying Canons, you see people buying Sonys so that they can get great video and great photo all in one body. Red, who is amazing at the video end, Nikon is great. Not quite up to Canon and Sony, but way up there. Like They're neck and neck for photo features, but Red can definitely help them get the rest of the way when it comes to video content. Assuming that the price can come down and fit into these small handheld cameras and be usable. But Nikon announced an entry into the agreement to acquire 100% of the outstanding membership interest of Red.com, LLC Red. So Red um, will be a wholly owned subscription subsidiary of Nikon, which will be great. I'm excited to see what this brings for Nikon cameras, how they end up using this technology in their own stuff. I am also just shocked that Red was even looking to be sold like this. That kind of blows my mind, but good on them. Excited to see what becomes of this. And I mean, big, big news when it to the camera world, uh, exciting stuff to see.